It's showtime. Okay, guys, welcome back. You are joining us for the SCPL. It is, of course, myself. And over there would be rapid casting, but he stepped away from his desk for just a moment. Uh, just to get some refreshment. We're going to be heading into game four here. It's going to be a cool PvZ. Uh, I'm going to introduce the players in just a second. Obviously, uh, when Rapid's not here to fill, I kind of have to talk. And so are the overlay at the same time, which could be a little bit of a challenge. But you know what? I've been doing this now for eight months. Uh, still <laughs> looks to be continuing. And Rapid's back, so I'm safe. Saved you, Kicks, as always, to the yep. rescue. No, but uh, yeah, I had to take a little bit of a break. It is 6 a.m. here, uh, and so uh, that makes me root for Zero a little bit more, as if you know there wasn't enough of a reason already. But uh, you know, if Phrase can bring it back, it would be a cool. It would be cool to see Net Wars be brought to an ace match. Yeah, so Zero, our Zerg player here, leader of the BSL. We can talk about this a little bit more in the sort of build-up to the game while waiting for stuff to happen, but Praise, his opponent as the Protoss, did do pretty well in round two, two for two. Uh, Zero, of course, one of the stronger players in the SCPL, and they are going to be heading on to Shin Peaks of Baked Dude. Now, we've had five CVPs on this map so far. Uh, this is going to be our sixth. Now, Protoss has an insane advantage right now, maybe this map. Showing a little bit of modern imbalance uh, based on the fact it is from 2006. Uh, but it's going to be a cool game nonetheless. 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock spawns this Net Wars Zero versus Size Praise. And let's get started with the game. Now his opponent starting us off in the 2 o'clock position is the yellow Protoss fighting for Sai. He's going to look to be... Wait, no, I'm not going to go with that. That doesn't work. It's going to be Praise. Hey, there you go. You did it, Kicks. His opponent in the bottom left-hand corner uh, of my favorite map, Shin Peaks of Baked Dew, uh, is a BSL's very own Zero. I say that because... Well, BSL is his very own, but also he's playing for Net Wars uh, because he is a uh, sick Polish badass, just like all the rest of the players on the team. So, uh, yeah, can't say enough good things about Zero. Uh, I think he is one of the only, or one of the the few casters out there that does play along with like uh, Sham Two and um, uh, what is it, uh, Artosis and you know some of the other uh, ASL B stream guys. Very excited to see him out there, uh, killing it. A BSL, huge announcements. It's going to be running for quite a while. Tons of prize money. Get out there, play BSL ladder. Uh, there's my zero plug for the day. Yeah, now, uh, obviously, I mean, this is going to be a pretty cool match. Zero, very, very good at CVP. Praise has been pretty good at PVZ as well. This is, of course, Shin Peaks of Bank Do. So, could see a little bit of a weirder game here. Now, whether or not that will sort of... Uh, how have I forgotten words? Whether or not that'll benefit Zero is yet to be discovered, but we will see him going for an overpull here, so no crazy super second, uh, super second fast, super fast second hatch coming in from him. And Praise is going to go for a two gate behind this as well. So this has definitely been a very common build on this map, was back in the day as well. And uh, now is Praise going to be able to make this work, or is Zero going to be able to hold on? Uh, Zero's uh, Zergling Micro obviously very, very good. Yeah, uh, it is going to be up to that. Uh, obviously, uh, anytime you're facing a two gate as a Zerg, uh, you certainly hope that it's not those 9 9 gates that we saw earlier uh, proxied near your base. That's, uh, I, I would say that for, for me, I'm always excited to see when players do aggressive builds against each other. Um, so I, I don't know what to expect. You're right, the control is going to be super important. Yeah, uh, obviously if you get two Zealots on your ramp, your Zerglings aren't realistically able to break that. Obviously if you have the two Zealots on the ramp at your own base as well, Zerglings aren't going to be able to kill you. So uh, Zealot's obviously a very, very strong tool in this game. He does know he's up against one base with gas, so that's likely going to be Zergling Speed coming in here first. And we're going to have that second hatchery coming up as well, so... Uh, Praise is going to have to eventually do a little bit of damage here, or he will find himself falling behind economically. 
Yeah, uh, he's going to try. I don't know how success this is going to have. Depends on where the Zerglings catch the Zealots. Uh, there's obviously more than he would necessarily expect, so uh, it's mostly like the warning party, but there's two more behind this. There should be more on the way. Uh, and yeah, those are Zerglings in the eggs just now popping. So it's going to be quite a few. And so this shouldn't actually get a whole lot of damage done. You just got to watch out for that pesky probe getting the extra hits in. Yeah, not only that, but he's also going to be microing back and forth on top of that little... Uh... Smiley face, gonna be able to get a few little chokes Stop in it there. Kicks. It's not a smiley face, you can't make it happen. And it's a, yeah, it's been a little bit long, but nice trades here by Praise actually, as he does take down a lot of links. Hasn't done any drone damage yet though, but with another two zealots coming in, this is looking a little bit dangerous here for Zero. Ooh, it's a little bit a little bit more than a little bit dangerous here uh kicks the uh zergling count just so pitiful at this point and the zealot control is impressive look at that okay finally he gets two zerglings that spawn and take out two zealots actually there's another one that has basically zero hp but the control here is actually really good yeah praise's zealot control has actually been really really impressive this game so far now it looks like the sunken is gonna finish this time praise not rallying his zealots in all the way in so that's actually going to be a little bit less of uh of an okay i'm officially losing all my words so it's going to be a little bit harder for him to do now it looks like the zerglings have pushed back the zealots for now uh but what is going to be the plan here for praise praise still without a gas going to be going into a forge behind this but with no gas what are you going to do against the eventual tech that will come in from Zero. Now Zero relying a lot on getting this third hatchery up. He's relied a lot on Ling, so his drone count quite low. Uh, actually did stop mining gas a while ago, so there's not going to be a lair for any uh, any time being. And it looks like pulling back is going to work for Praise for now, because he's going to be trying to take a second Nexus against a lot of Speedlings. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, yeah, that is, that is quite a few. Wow, and he also gets four into the main. Mm, oh. That's not supposed to happen. I mean, there's a cannon coming up, so it won't last forever. But oh, he's on the pro or on the on the on the forge. Uh, oh no, the... I think I feel like if he focused that forge, that that could be close. But he can also just focus the cannon. Oh my God, he's gonna kill the cannon. Yeah, he's gonna kill the Ooh. cannon. I think Kicks. that's. That's the kind of move you need to make if you want to win this game from 0-0, zero, zero. obviously with a lot of links. He still has four in the main. Praise could not really peel that many zealots off to deal with this either. But that was a lot of lost mining time, so there's no additional reinforcements coming in from Praise. And Zero pushing in with more and more zerglings. Unfortunately, Praise losing control of his zealots now, and I think this is going to be the move that will win the game. How on earth can Praise deal with this? He's going to pull his zealots up, but there's just so many links! Yeah. So many lings, uh, and there should be more speed lings on the other side. Uh, are there? Uh, no, he's actually droning behind this. Oh my God, Zero, why are you so handsome? Uh, so if he doesn't win the the game with these lings, uh, you could actually run them out and just kill the Nexus. But I think he is going to actually deal critical damage. Yeah, here. there's absolutely nothing Praise can do. Psy put up a good fight, but Zero taking down Praise here. GG, and that's gonna give Net Wars the win. Uh, what a way to do it. My man, Zero, coming up in the clutch. Uh, might seem a little... Uh, our commentary, at least mine, might seem a little bit biased, um, but I would say that I think uh, Net Wars deserve that kind of bias because it would be disingenuous to try to say, you know, that these you know teams are just, like, totally evenly matched. We're not trying to say that Psy Storm are not a good team. We're trying to say that uh, Net Wars are a great team. And I think they illustrated exactly why that was here. I think this matchup right here is actually basically the perfect way to show some of the strengths here. Uh, that uh, Net Wars have newer players that still have yet to prove themselves. Psystorm are totally capable of beating Net Wars players. But in the end, uh, you know, players like Kogit, I think, really, really showed why they are, why he is very good with his early SCV control. Yeti showed why he was very good with his early uh, Dragoon control. And then Zero showed why he was very good with his Zergling control. They all won their games for Net Wars to give them the 3-1 victory. They did indeed. Now, it's a little bit of a weird situation in a few of the games. Grass nearly beat out Yeti. Marine nearly took down Koga as well. So all is not lost for Psy. They 
2 do have a very strong roster. Unfortunately, they didn't live up to the hype here against Netball's best players, actually. So, I mean, it's a very, very difficult situation for them to be in. But they certainly put up a very decent fight and led to 4, Bob. I'd say 3 really, really well. 2 really good games. And I mean, Mitak was kind of a one-sided game because he did just get links into the base. And Zero versus Praise was kind of one-sided in the end, but Praise showing off very, very good sell at Micro there uh, until he died, unfortunately. But uh, Praise certainly a player to look out for in the future. Marine uh, very good as well. Grass showing a great job for his team, but Yeti Koga Zero just too strong on the day. And that is, of course, going to be the end of day two of week three, but day three... Day 4 and Day 1 of Week 4 are going to be coming up on Wednesday the 17th of October. We're going to have Day 3. It's going to be Team MSJ versus Naz, Red versus Clan Revolution. On Friday, we're going to have FBW versus Media and Soul Gaming versus BWL. And then on Monday, we're going to have Bull Team versus Media and Soul versus Psystorm to kick us off with Week 4. Uh, so, very much looking forward to those. Of course, I have to say a huge thank you to Rapid for once again casting with me. Uh, yeah, my pleasure. I'm always happy to be here when I can, which is not always lately, but uh, it's just uh, it's, it's going to be pretty well. Or it's, it's going to be uh, good every time I can make it out here. I also just want to say that by virtue of upcoming uh, Brood War events, uh, in less than 12 hours, uh, our Lord and Savior Flash uh, plays his ASL group, so make sure to watch that. KSL starts up this week as well, so don't miss that either. And of course, ASL finals are coming up the week after this, so uh, it's a good time for Brood War. It is, and if you're interested in playing and you're not in Korea, there is an event coming up for you tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be the first of the BSL5 ladder tournaments hosted by Zero, uh, so do sign up to those. I think it's at a similar time to the casting time of SCPL, which is 2100. CEST. You can obviously find all the BSL information out on Team Liquid. Uh, but huge thank you to everybody who's tuned in, all of the players for playing their games, all of the donators to make the prize pool $1,500 as well. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the SCPL. So it's good night from him. And good night from, from him. Okay. Eventually we'll get this right. <laughs> it's close. But either way, it's good night from him, it's good night from me, good night. <laughs>